This is John Black, Super Chemist. This is not an instructional video. It is just a vlog showing a video account of some chemistry experiments I have done or I'm learning about. I do not go over all safety concerns, so if you repeat anything in the video, you do it at your own risk. Uh, let's go over a couple things about calcium pyruvate. Here's a picture of it. Uh, you can see it's calcium with two it's the calcium salt of pyruvic acid, but since calcium is a plus two, it has two pyruvates attached to it. Um, <clears throat> what can you do with that? Well, you can make pyruvic acid with it. Take your cast, cal how do you make an acid? You get the salt of that acid and drip a stronger acid on it. Just like you would do with how do you make acetic acid? You drip a strong acid like sulfuric acid onto a salt like uh, sodium acetate and you will make acetic acid. Same here. If you take the calcium pyruvate, drip some sulfuric acid on it, you will make pyruvic acid and then the calcium and sulfate will go together. Uh, how's another way you can make pyruvic acid? You can get some tartaric acid, right? Mix it with some potassium bisulfate, heat it up, and you will make pyruvic acid. You can say, well, what is I, how will I get tartaric I actually did a video on tartaric acid. Um, basically, cream of tartar, which is a, something they use to make put in food. You get it at the grocery store. Uh, cream of tartar is potassium bitartrate, meaning you, uh, it's the same exact thing as tartaric acid except for one of the hydrogens on the carboxy group was replaced with potassium. And the bi means that the other one wasn't because you got two so you got two acids, two carb carboxy groups. So I mean you just take if you wanted to make tartaric acid you buy some cream of tartar and how do you make the acid up? <laughs> you know again you trip a strong acid onto the salt. This is the salt of the acid you want. So you would get some potassium by tartrate, cream of tartar. You would drip some sulfuric acid on it, and boom, you got tartaric acid. Mix that with the uh, potassium by sulfate, heat it up, and boom, you got pyruvic acid. Now, pyruvic acid decomposes and polymerizes at high temperatures. So vacuum distillation is best. Um, here's a few facts about pyruvic acid. Molar mass, density, molar volume, boiling point, freezing point, boiling point 165C, a pKa. And I'm going to go over two more ways how to make pyruvic acid. One is to get this propylene glycol. It's a diol. And these arrows just mean any kind of oxidizer like uh, permanganate or uh, chromic acid, you know, dichromate. Uh, any strong oxidizer and uh, you will oxidize this because it's a primary alcohol will go to the carboxy group and this secondary alcohol will obviously be a ketone and you'll make your pyruvic acid same down here lactic acid that's from like milk right this one might be hard to get or make but lactic acid that's probably buy tons of that uh, you can see it's the only thing difference between the pyruvic acid and lactic acid is this has a hydroxy group and this has a carbonyl group so again you just use a strong oxidizer it won't affect the carboxy group because it's already oxidized to its fullest extent and it'll just make your pyruvic acid uh, again I, I don't like this idea but this lactic acid that seems like something that's easy to buy or whatever easy to oxidize now how do you get calcium pyruvate right here There's a kilogram, it probably costs 20 bucks or something. Uh, but you get it from bulk suppl su supplements.com or you can just buy it on eBay or whatever, you know, Amazon. Anyways, you have a great day and remember, science is great.